Hey guys, welcome to Ham Radio Adventures with K0PIR and my YouTube channel. If you haven't already, please click on the subscribe button below and ring the bell. You'll be notified when I put out a new video. And I'm going to show you how to use CW Skimmer with Log for the Old Man. Um, I've got it going here. It's uh, in wide mode. And please see my uh, previous videos on using HDSDR with CW Skimmer in wide mode. And I have an excellent post on my website. I'll put a link below and it shows you how to get that set up. Uh, one of the things that I wanted to go over real quickly is uh, something to check. Uh, just to make sure that everything's uh, installed correctly. Go to Device Manager and under Audio Inputs and Outputs, we want to make sure we have this Hi-Fi cable input and output. Uh, that is installed uh, through the installation process, the ICOM list, and I've got the document on my website. But you want to get that software installed, the Hi-Fi cable. And the other is the IQ port. And if you go under Universal Serial Port uh, Controllers, you should see the IC7610 IQ out. And that comes from the package that you install from ICOM. And again, all of that is in a previous video. But you got to have this working or uh, HDSDR is not going to work. So uh, let's, uh, let's get to the uh, topic here. And that's using Log for the Old Man and I've got it pulled up here and I'm using the cluster and uh, this is the CW skimmer uh, it's pulling uh, uh, contacts or stations that I hear uh, from CW skimmer and uh, pulling it into log for the old man you can see the cluster name is the, the local computer in port 7300 uh, let me show you how to set that up uh, under connect go there and then to telnet cluster and uh, go over to connection and I'm already connected now I'm going to disconnect tells me by go over to connection and you want to add the CW skimmer so you want to select new and uh, a friendly name CWS and the host 127.0.0.1 and uh, port 7300 and we don't need to fill out anything else uh, we can put the call sign in there let's uh, do that I think I added that so uh, once you get that filled out uh, just click save and you'll find it under the known servers uh, so I can search CWS that's what we named it and you'll see it's right there uh, I already have another one that I, I got active right now so uh, let's go ahead and uh, start this up and uh, the only thing you need to do is just hit connect once you get it uh, configured just hit connect and you go over and you'll see that it connects and I'm connected to uh, CW Skimmer. Now all I have to do, and you'll see down here in the bottom left, yeah, the cluster is connected. And now this is the only one that I'm connected to. I'm not connected to my uh, DX Spider. Uh, just CW Skimmer, because I want uh, the stations that my uh, radio actually hears to show up in the cluster. So there we go. And then we can go ahead and close this. And you'll see stations start to pop up here. Got one in Sweden. And of course, you need to set your filters. I'm on CW, I'm excluding FT8, and I'm just on 20 meters. And once they start to show up here, all you have to do is uh, double click on the call sign, and it will take you to the frequency that they're on uh, 14040. Now, I'm not listening to audio from CW Skimmer or uh, HDSDR. And again, uh, head over to my website. Uh, I've got a new post, and it gives you a few tips for using uh, CW Wide uh, with uh, the ICOM 7610, HDSDR, and uh, CW Skimmer. So uh, that, that about does it. If you have any questions or comments, please make them below. 
I know at least a couple uh, subscribers had trouble getting uh, uh, the IQ port installed. And if you have trouble, uh, please uh, post here, post your comment, the trouble you're having, and uh, we'll see if we can get it fixed. Uh, maybe somebody else from the community has a, a quick solution for you. So again, thanks for watching. I hope to hear you on the air, and stay tuned for more videos. 73 and good DX.